Hello again, art fans. Steve here from NVIDIA. You know, lately I've been pondering some of life's biggest questions. Who are we? Where are we going? And why do we all love those strange, repetitive, oddly satisfying pieces of art that always seem to fascinate us, even though we know what's coming next? Well, to find these answers, I, I sought out some of the creative minds behind these puzzling, perpetual pieces. Where do the ideas come from? And why can't we turn away from their hypnotizing spell? Oscar Peterson is the first artist we tap for answers. Oscar says his passion for engineering and physics, plus a love of Legos as a child, drives a lot of his creations. Ah, it definitely shows in his fun kinetic pieces. The designs are clean and simple, mesmerizing. But there's a ton of complexity in the animation. We can feel the weight, momentum, and tension. Look at this one. It's perpetually falling wheels, right? This is mesmerizing, isn't it? I mean, we find ourselves willing every piece to succeed, even though we already saw it happen again and again and again. Oscar puts together his creations with Cinema 4D, Arnold, Redshift, and After Effects, all powered by an NVIDIA RTX 3080. From there, it's all about imagination and problem solving, focusing the mind to reach the perfect combination of physical materials and immaculate timing, or what Oscar calls, quote, getting into the flow state, unquote. Yeah, flow state, that's it. Well, whatever it's called, we're there with it. I think I can safely say that nobody creates Pink Flamingos inspired kinetic artwork like Arben Vlasilou. I mean, come on, it's Pink Flamingos, need I say more? To make the piece even more interesting, he creates a changing depth of field that's like a gentle, perpetual, fractal fall into the world of all things flamingo. That is, dance vibing flamingos, <laughs> even better. Then he adds a fun, upbeat sound mix to pull it all together. It's fantastic. His inspiration? Maybe not surprisingly, it's a history and graphics design, a fondness for math, and a lifelong obsession with mechanical projects and objects that play with the limits of physics. Arben just wants to add an oddly satisfying meditative break to everyone's busy day. And looking at these creations, it's pretty obvious that it's working. From all of us, thank you Arben for that. Okay. Okay, this ball and two piece is just plain odd and funny at the same time, especially with the sound turned up. It's a great example of how Mark Ferrer Vives uses humor and just about any other life experience to inspire his work. And what exactly inspired Mark for this particular piece? Well, I can guess, but I'll leave that to your imagination. At any rate, he definitely loves to experiment. Modeling, materials, angles, animating, whatever makes the piece feel right, brought to life with 3D applications like Houdini or CD4. The end goal is to give you a moment to pause and let your mind drift in wonder. Satisfying indeed. Roger Kilimanjaro loves putting a surprising twist on everyday objects. Come on ramen made from gold, but he does it beautifully. The colors and materials are bold and the animation is fun and engaging. For Roger, a strong sense of curiosity is key to the realism of his work, especially the motion, rhythm, and weight of things. He loves loops that are visually stunning and has a particular passion for the look of metals, what he calls a sweet ballet of contrast and shape gently warping along the surface. <laughs> gold butter? Gold cheese sticks? Gold noodles? Yeah, he's into this stuff. And oddly enough, it's making me hungry. You know, if he ever gets bored with 3D art, he could easily open up a restaurant that serves gilded confections and savories. <laughs> and what would you call that restaurant? Kilimanjaro's, of course. For Roger, rather than starting with a sketch, he jumps right into every project by shaping his ideas with cinema and redshift. He's also a big believer in GPU renderers for adding super accurate lighting, materials, and photorealism to his work. So why this art form? 
Well, Roger gives us a simple explanation for that. He just likes the elegance of a repetitive motion. It's comforting somehow to know everything will go perfectly as planned every time. Well, hmm, maybe that's the answer I've been searching for this whole time. Everything will go perfectly as planned. Or at the very least, we can always hope for that. All right, I hope you found this all oddly satisfying. So what are you creating? Let us know. We're always on the lookout for talented artists. If you want us to feature your artwork, feel free to share it at hashtag StudioShare and follow us at NVIDIA Creators. 